saw the interview of the last second quarterfinal match. The winner of the second quarterfinal for Anne Mehboob. Now coming back to the game, it's between Tayyip Aslam from Pakistan versus Yaya from Egypt. Tayyip Aslam is also number one in Pakistan, is right now current Pakistan number one. Whereas Yaya is also the world number two in junior under 19 category. It's gonna be an amazing match between the both players. Yesterday Yaya proved to be the one of the best junior players ever. As you can see with this last match and Tayyip Aslam yesterday playing against Noor Zaban in the back courts. It was an amazing match too, full of crowd and full of enthusiasm by both players. I hope we can see an amazing match today in this class code and Mushaf Alimi squash complex. The toss is won by Yaya and he will be the one with the first serve. Talking about this game, talking about squash, you know, this age factor as we mentioned yesterday as well. It's a major factor being so young at this age, competing with such a high level, at such a high platform against some senior players. It's a huge deal, you know, and to be reaching such a big thing, like be reaching in quarterfinals, it's one of the best experience, you know, for this kid, man. I must say, I'm proud of him. He's such an amazing player. He has beautiful techniques and this man is full of tricks. Whereas Sayyab Aslam from Pakistan is no less. He's the number one and recently just won the gold medal in South Asian Games in Squash. And what a beautiful man he is, I must say. His game, his techniques, his lengths and drives are absolutely perfect. I must say, we must... We will watch an amazing piece of game tonight in right here in your very own Mushaf Squash Complex, Islamabad. Fifteen seconds. Now the game will resume in fifty seconds. Both players are headed back into the court, ready and pumped up for their third quarterfinal match. With me in the commentary box is also joined by Mr. Numan. Thank you, Istaba. Good to see another Pakistani player in the quarter final. We have Tayyab Aslam, he is Pakistan's number one. World number 61, and he's up against Yaya. He's a junior world number two, he's under 19. So, here we go for the third quarter final of Serena Hotels Hawaii Pakistan International Squash Tournament. Form giving no chances. The score is now two love. Uh, the reason why Yaya is wearing an eye guard in this match is because he's a junior player, and junior players must wear eyewear protection in order to play junior matches or senior matches because they are not experienced yet and they do not have enough control. They could hit it. They could hit the ball in their eye. Hence, they should wear eye guard. The score is now 4 love. And Tayyip Aslam has taken another point. The score is now 5 love. Well, it seems like Tayyip Aslam is on the move right now. Giving no chances to Yaya. sided game because uh, for now we've seen some thrilling quarter final but it seems like this will be a one sided one it's one six to Yahya and 
Yeah, seems to be under pressure right now. He's giving away easy points to another other player. Eight one two. Tayyab Aslam. He only needs three point to win the first set. But Yaya yeah, is not giving up anytime soon. It's two eight for him. He needs six points to equalize the score. And another unforced error. Made by Yaya, giving Tayyab Aslam the point. The score is now 9 2. The score is now 10 2. It's the last point for Tayyab Aslam. He now needs just one point to win the first game. This could put a lot of pressure on this young child. And the Abbasnam has done it, ladies and gentlemen. He has won the first game. I must say, this must put some pressure on this young kid. At this age, he was trying his best for staying in the game, but... He yes, uh, it was sheer brilliance from uh, Tayyab. And you can watch the highlights of the first set. The highlights of the first set. It was brilliant from uh, Tayyab Aslam. He completely outplayed... Uh, yeah, yeah. Talking about Yaya, yeah, he's under 19. He's a young player, and uh, Istaba recently communicated me that uh, he is number second ranked in the world junior player, and uh, well, he's up against Pakistan's number one Tayyip Aslam. Definitely, you're gonna spare a thought for Yaya, yeah, because yeah. he was completely outsmarted in the first set. But right now, his fellow Egyptians are. Are you guiding him towards the game? He's been guided by his fellow players, the user prime, the, his boxes, telling him how to play and what to play. I hope that could be guided enough so he could win the points and d and dominate the Yavaslam in the second game. It's the start of the second game. The Yavaslam to serve again. A stroke ball for Aslam as he Yaya was in the way, so he was awarded a stroke ball. Yes, exactly. It's one points to love for Tayyab Aslam and make that two love. He's on a roll to win this set as well. It's two points to love for Tayyab Aslam. The racket hit on almost hit on the Yabaslam, so a struck ball was awarded to Yaya. The score is now 1 2. That was pure class from the Yabaslam, which gives him the third point. So it's 3 1. Oh, that's another classic move. The Yabaslam is. Leading it by four points to one. Yeah, yeah, seems to be pissed about it as he was, you could see, in, he was hitting the back court glass. The score is now 5 1. He needs to do something now, or else Yaya is out of the equation. He's trying his best to stay in the game, but he's, I think he's under pressure right now. He seems to be pissed about it too. The score is now 6 1. awarded to Tayyab Aslam as Yaya was in the way of the ball. The score is now 6-1. I'm not sure about that. 
my marker called Capture Player Left Place. One. The referee was not sure about the decision, so it was a let ball. Yeah, yeah, almost had taken the point, but the referee gave a let decision. Yeah, yeah, placed the ball on the tee ball, and yeah, yeah. Made a wrong shot, which cost him the point. The score is now 7-1. Make that 7-2. Yeah, yeah, I was managed to take a point. 7-2 to Tayyip Baslam. He's only four points away from making two sets to not. Yeah, yeah, he's making some comeback in the game. Three points to seven for Yaya. Yeah. Again, a wrong choice of shots by Yaya. He gave the ball on the tee and Tayyip Aslam placed it right where Yaya couldn't pick the ball. miss from uh, Tayyip Aslam. Yes, uh, the choice of shots Yaya is making right now. I think some changes could be made to the game. It could, he could turn the game upside down, but let's see what happens. The score is now 9-4. He's still five points behind. And another unfortunate error made by Tayyip Aslam hitting the board. He is not happy with that. Let's see if we could make that into a winner. Another loose shot for Yaya, which cost him the point. Tayyip knew exactly where to place the ball. The score is now 10-5. Tayyip needs just one point to win the second game. Yes, exactly. It's a game ball for Tayyip. He needs one more point to make it two games to love. He's uh, asking the referee. To asking for? He's asking for a let. No let given by the referee. The referee is in his final. It's 10 points to 6 for Tayyip Aslam. The referee is saying that less effort was put in the ball. The ball was good and it went right past him. So no lead. Yaya is not giving up anytime soon. The score is now 7-10. He needs 3 points to equalize the score. Let's see if he can make it. And he has got another chance. The score is now 8-10. He still has chance into the game. He needs to do something now about the game or else he'll lose the second game. The score is now 11-8. Tayyib Aslam has managed to win the second game too. What an amazing squash game we've seen here, ladies and gentlemen, right at Musaf's squash complex in Islamabad. Yes, exactly. Uh, talking about the highlights of this session, you can watch the highlights right now about uh, Tayyip Aslam, how he's dominated the second set as well. He now moves to two sets to not, and he only needs one more set to make it to the semi final. And talking about the semi -fi semi finalist, we have uh, Farhan Habu from Pakistan, Yusuf from Egypt, and uh, we're on course for the third semi finalist. And by the look of it, and by what it seems like, uh, Tayyip Aslam will be the third semi finalist. So it will, it will be good to have two semi uh, Pakistan, uh, Pakistani semi finalists. It will be interesting to see the fourth uh, quarter final as well. This is uh, the, the third quarter final of Serena Hotels Hawaii Pakistan International Squash Tournament. For men and women 2019. Remember, we have the fourth quarter final between Roy Swords from Portugal. He'll be up against Mohammed Al Sherbani from Egypt. They will resume in 60 seconds. Now, the game will resume in about 60 seconds. It's the start of the third game. 
between Yaya from Egypt, as I said, and Tayyip Aslam from Pakistan. Yes, exactly. It's the third set. Players are warming up the ball before the for the set comments. Remember, it's a must-win set for Yaya. If he loses this, he will not only be out of the game, but he'll be out of the tournament as well. Devatu get underway for the third set. It's a Serena Hotels Hawaii Pakistan International Squash Tournament. It's a third quarter final. A down ball for Yaya at the start of the game. This puts a lot of pressure on Yaya, but let's see if he can capitalize this moment. The score is now one love. What a beautiful play shot, but the Yaya was from right where Yaya couldn't reach the ball. The score is now two love. Two points for Tayyip, zero for Yaya. Stop to Aslam. Stop to Aslam. Three, love. A shock ball for Tayyip as Yaya was in his way. Yaya seems to be in a little pressure right now. He needs to do something now or, or else he's out of the equation. Furthermore, out of this tournament as well. A good choice of shot by Yaya, right where Tayyip couldn't pick the ball. The score is now 3-1. Tayyip has stopped dominating his way into the game. Yaya needs to do something extraordinary to make a comeback. Another point for the Yabaslam, he has made it now four, four points to one. Yeah, I need to do something now about this game. And another beautiful ball shot by the Yab right where, yeah, I couldn't pick the ball. A good shot shots by the Yab. The score is now 5-1. And a shock ball for Tayyab Aslam. It was a risky shot if he could have played it. Yaya could have hit. A beautiful pick by Yaya. No let. No let. Seven, one. A no let decision for. Yeah, yeah, he seems to be pissed about it. He needs to do something now. He is focusing on the game, but Tayyip seems to be enjoying the game as he's on a huge lead. He's also a senior player from Pakistan, so he has more experience, much more experience than Yaya, yeah, yeah, so he's taking the benefit of it. Yaya yeah, yeah, fell on the court. Tayyip Aslam showing good sportsman spirit went to Yaya to pick it up and pick it up, up. But it was a no let decision and Tayyip has won the point. Yes, exactly. 8-1 to Tayyip Aslam and talking about Yaya, he looks uh, completely out of sorts. He looks complete not only out of sorts but out of game as well. If he loses the next three points, he will be out of the competition. It's Serena Hurrell's Hawaii Pakistan International Squash Tournament for Men and Women 2019. You can watch the live broadcast on digital platform of Sports Fever 360 and B Sports. Hello, two eight. It's two eight. Tayyip Aslam leading his way. Uh, 
Tayeb yeah, Aslam only two points away from securing a place in the semi-final. Oh, what a beautiful shot by Yaya. What an amazing placement of the choice of the ball. Right where the ball doesn't pick up. Yes, exactly. It was uploaded by Tayyab as well. It shows it's showing good sportsman spirit. Step to Aslam. Step to Aslam. And the stroke ball for Tayyab Aslam makes him to the last point for this match. It's the match ball for Tayyab Aslam. He needs just now 1.2 in the game. And Tayyip has done it, ladies and gentlemen. He has won the third game and he has won this match. And Tayyip has proven to be the best here in this tournament. Due to his experience, he's now thanking the referee, he's throwing the ball towards the ref. Now you can watch the highlights of this game on your screens. टू थ्री आखिरी बार चेक कर लें चेक वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री चेक वन चेक वन टू थ्री चेक ठीक है जी चेक वन टू थ्री ओके कंग्रेचुलेशन सही अब सेमीफाइनल में पहुंच गए कैसा महसूस कर रहे हैं काफ़ी अच्छा महसूस कर रहा हूं और अल्लाह का शुक्र है कि काफ़ी अच्छा मैच हुआ है जिसमें मैंने कामयाबी हासिल की है क्या एक्सपेक्टेशन है सेमीफाइनल के लिए आप होपफुली के 
कल इसी तरह अच्छा खेलूँ क्योंकि लास्ट टाइम भी मेरा और उसका काफ़ी क्लोज मैच था मैं मैच बोल्ड अप था और वहाँ से मैं थ्री टू ट्वेल्थ तक नारा फिफ्थ में तो नॉट ईजी वो सेकंड सीट है और काफ़ी अच्छी चांसेस हैं और इन कल पता चलेगा पाकिस्तान में इंटरनेशनल स्पोर्ट्स वापस आई हैं जिस तरह हमने देखा स्कॉश का इंटरनेशनल इवेंट हो रहा है क्या कहेंगे इस बारे में ऐसे इवेंट होने चाहिए ताकि बच्चों को शौक बढ़े क्योंकि आपको पता है पाकिस्तान में इंटरनेशनली हर चीज़ बंद है तो जब तक प्लेयर्स नहीं आएंगे बाहर से तो प्लेयर्स में कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं आएगा उनके साथ खेलने का हमारे बच्चे बाहर जाते हैं वो सारे कॉम्प्लेक्स का शिकार हो गए वो इतनी मैच में जैसे इधर गेम खेलते हैं वैसे वहाँ नहीं खेल पाते तो अगर जैसे इधर स्क्वाश खेलेंगे और देखेंगे लोगों को तो उनसे काफ़ी कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्ड होगा साउथ एशियन गेम्स में गोल्ड मेडल जीता है आपने यकीन तौर पर बड़ी मोटिवेशन होगी इस टूर्नामेंट के लिए ये हाँ जी बस फर्स्ट टाइम मेरी साउथ एशियन थी और अल्लाह के करम से मैंने दो गोल्ड जीते हैं और एक इंडिविजुअल में और एक टीम में और आपको पता है जैसे इंडिया के साथ मैच आ जाए तो प्रेशर ही एक लहदा चीज़ है लेकिन बस एक वो कॉन्फिडेंस था कि नहीं मैंने जीतना है तो जिसको मैंने बीट किया है फाइनल में वो एशियन गेम्स गोल्ड मेडल लिस्ट था तो मैंने उसको फाइनल में बीट किया कंग्रेचुलेशन और बेस्ट ऑफ लक सेमीफाइनल थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू नहीं नहीं आपको रोकने का मुझे पता है मुझे पता चल